Hi guys, um, just wanna bring to you MKN, KKM, KBS, including our new Prime Minister. The uh, the fact that a lot of economic sectors have been allowed to reopen. Um, you know, we're talking about dine-ins at restaurants and stuff like that, and yet gyms are still asked to be closed. Um, we are hoping with the new minister and the cabinet coming up soon that you guys would seriously consider allowing fitness centers to open, gyms to reopen. We have been following every aspect of the SOP to a T. In fact, we have been very strict with our SOP because simply we've always been the target of uh, you know these lockdowns the first to uh, be shut and the last to be open right now with the new uh, SOP given uh, with the new economic sectors you know like restaurants being allowed to have dine-ins and all here's the here's the thing you allow people to come and eat eat in all right now obviously they're not going to be masked to eat to be able to eat they will have to be fully vaccinated to come in fair enough most of these places are, um, are in air-conditioned en uh, environment okay so you're sitting there eating in a restaurant breathing in recycled air because it's AC right um, but that's okay you know but for a gym now most of the gyms in Malaysia are smaller they do not have air condition windows are open all the time for ventilation we have been asked to limit our crowd okay so at any point of time there can only be a certain number of people only in the gym working out obviously we're not going to be wearing a mask because we are exercising again this is where the fact that we have limited crowd spaced out okay penjarakan and all what they always say okay we have that <clears throat> equipments are sanitized immediately upon finishing of use being used uh, windows are all open for ventilation free flow of air and everything so how is that not safe uh, or not safer than you know people who are going and dining in or going to the barber within close proximity the guy in the bar the, the barber may be wearing a mask and so on but the guy is sitting in there in front getting his hair cut he's not going to be wearing any mask because how do you cut your hair when you know you got straps and not everything around your face so barbers even are worse because they are sitting in a very close environment you know one chair to another is very close isn't it maybe like maybe three or four feet away air condition the doors are all closed there's no windows all right that's even riskier than being in a gym where everybody is spaced out uh, you know windows are open and the number of people working out at any point of time have been reduced to you know they say 30 percent so depending on the size of the gym you may only get maybe 10 15 at the most on a, on a regular shop lot size gym so everybody is spaced out everywhere you know nobody's standing next to one another touching and, and, and holding on, on uh, each other right okay so why are gyms being the target right now where you know everything is pointing in the direction oh it's not safe you know where do you guys in MKN get this information you know we would like to know seriously point this out tell us if this is a problem if there is a problem then give us the solution show us okay this is what and what and what you need to do on top of the already tight SOP that you have right so going back again to the barber to the to the dine-ins and all everybody sitting there breathing in recycled air you know not wearing their mask you know how do you eat with your mask on you know versus being in the gym when the ventilation is really good um, spaced out nobody sitting right next to one another 
you know obviously you got to be fully vaccinated in order to be allowed into the gym okay we com we can comply with that but guys mkn you know our new prime minister please uh a lot of the gyms are suffering we are actually a business in health and fitness something in line with what the government is trying to achieve to have a, a, a healthier society we are actually on the ground doing all this so give us a break you know you can't keep us shut for forever at, at some point of time you got to let us go we got to we got to start earning something cuz bills are accumulating and you know with all this one off aid by KBS that has not been seen you know all the talks and we have yet to see any help from them besides that it's not going to help um help much you know because the bills accumulated versus what you're going to give a one off it's not going to cover anything you know it's not going to really cover all the bills so rather than give a man a fish so he can eat for a day teach a man how to fish so he can you know eat for the rest of his life so in allowing us to reopen with all the tight SOPs in place you don't have to worry about you know uh, giving us money and all that which we never saw anyway so at least uh, allow us to reopen the gyms and let us handle our business that way there's no stress on the government to keep funding trying to fund us to to stay afloat you know a, a lot of gyms have closed down and um it's sad to see the sorry state our country has come come to and you know that's all i can say right now is just guys at the top for once listen listen right don't say okay we are listening and all you guys are not listening you know half the time you guys are worried about other things you know yeah we understand there are you know a lots of things to take care of but uh, you cannot pretend like you um, don't hear us or don't see our problems and all that i think it's time um, you guys in the ministry please come look into the sop again look into all our applications again and allow us all gym operators now i'm not talking about the big gyms with fully air condition and glass and everything all okay they the franchise gyms and all that um they in, in order for them to operate you know maybe you may need a separate kind of regulations open windows uh, or renovate have windows install or whatever you know i'm talking about the local gyms in shop lots usually the smaller smaller operational businesses give us that opportunity to uh, breathe again okay enough of renting i think uh, i made my point very clear please guys this is not a joke